it. So we've made it safely back to Twin Town. And you can see our party is taking quite a beating, fighting a whole bunch of wyverns and evil heads. But in truth, the evil head fights are the ones that you really want to be after. So you can see here we have 17,000 Mesitas, so we've gone above and beyond our call to get 15,000 to be able to afford that ice digger. But I did a little extra just to make sure that we could afford to heal up as well. So that's another thing that you always have to kind of keep in mind. So let's see... Oh, you're the wrong store. Of course, there's two stores in this whole place and I go on the wrong one. How awkward. I will buy your ice digger. No, thank you. Okay, so we only apparently needed 12,000. I don't know why I keep forgetting what kinds of values I need for things. Uh, I think I'm going to try to heal everybody up as well. Because we did take quite a bad beating. Well, in the end, it's good that we have a little bit of extra money because we do have some other things to buy as well. Oops, sorry. Noah, please. Yeah, because we want to get Alice some better armor at some point too. A um, whole bunch of different things that we need to get at some point. But for now, I think we are okay. So I'm just going to save my game here. And then I guess from here what we can do is head off to the Guaron Morgue, which is a terrible place full of the undead. And that's just a couple of caves down the mountain. So we're going to head back down through the caves that we were that we were in. So it should be not too long from now, I guess, by the time that we get there. But what I'm going to do is make it out of this little area and then I will see you guys on the other side and then we'll head down the mountain caves together. Okay, so we are out of Twin Town and its passageway. So we're going to head back down through this cave system. And if you recall on the way up here, there were a couple of places where I mentioned, oh, we could totally go to the left here and then there's more stuff. That's where we're headed now. There's a couple of places on the mountain that we're gonna have to do that for. But for now, I think we should head out to the Goron Morn. It is a very small little place from what I can recall, so it shouldn't take us too long, I hope, to maneuver it. We're gonna try to find our way out of here. And then after that, wander on the mountainside for a little while, hoping that we don't all get hypothermia in our dresses and short, short sleeve t-shirts. The only person who's really dressed for this adventure at this point is Noah. And maybe Meow because he's a cat. All right, so that is cave number one down. So we'll see what else is around here. It might be possible to head left of here, but I think we've got to go down two caves to get to the Quarren Morgue. So maybe we'll try that. Oh my goodness, stop overflowing my inventory with flashlights. I feel like it's this game's cruel joke to just keep throwing flashlights at us for the time being. It's like when they were developing it, I was like, what can we possibly just pile onto these people to clog up their inventory? Because your inventory is so limited. I would say, like, as much as it's frustrating to have a limited inventory in this game, Earthbound was way worse for inventory cloggery. That game drove me a little nuts. Or maybe it is here. You know what? Let's let's turn around. Let's run away from this guy first. Try not to die. <clears throat> All right, Noah. You're gonna do your thing, buddy. Have a chat with this guy. There are places in the sky where even spaceships cannot go. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Okay, I'm just curious because I forget now. It might be over here. Hmm. No, I think it might be... I think it's down one more. I guess we can just walk all the way to the top and see here. 
Oh my goodness, please do not murder my party. These enemies are so tough in this area, like when you run into sorcerers and terrible, terrible fights like that. I'm just trying not to fight these guys right now because we're going into a terrible place, so I don't want to be in a bad situation. I'd like to go... <laughs> Four of you! Okay, Alice, it's almost time for you to cast by. Okay. Magic. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for the effort, Odin. You just hurt them a little so that they don't protest too much when we escape. Yeah, this might be the right way. Maybe we could take down one mammoth. I just don't know if we can take down four mammoths. They seem pretty tough, though. I mean, they are pretty gargantuan for the most part. I can't imagine, like, this being a literal reality where we run into a mammoth and then have to fight it with, like, a laser gun, our claws, you know, a sword. Like, how terrible would that be? I would much prefer my current human life where there's no such enemies in my path. I don't have to worry about them so much. So yeah, if I remember correctly, we keep going this way and eventually we end up at the little, the little building that we need to go into. I don't feel like fighting a frost man at the moment. No. I said no. Game, why don't you listen to me? There, we're at the top nearly. A marauder! No, 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 no. Now is not the time for you. There it is. That is the fort that we need to go into. So let's heal up before we go inside, because we are in sorry shape, even just from going up this mountain. We got a long way to go. I mean that in the sense that our party still has quite a bit of leveling left to be done before we're going to be in good shape to fight Lassic. Definitely need a little bit of help. <laughs> uh, okay, and we will cure Meow as well. Okay, so before we bust in there, we're going to save just because. Why not? Alright, let's head inside. So, if I remember correctly... Okay, hang on a sec. What have you come for? Do you intend some mischief? Wouldn't you like to know? From what I can recall, there's a pit in this place that we need to actually disarm with Meow. It's a dead end. Um, we need to disarm with Meow or else we fall down to the floor below. And that'll just keep happening. So it's the first time, this happens again later, where you have to mend a trap in the floor so that you don't fall through or else you can't beat the area. So I think it's like right before you get to the end. Something like that. It's like right before you get to the fight. So I'm gonna try to remember <laughs> where that is. We might fall through the floor. I might recognize it when I see it. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I might recognize it. Because I did spend quite a bit of time falling through the floor. Really? We're just gonna keep fighting bad guys in the same spot? That's never happened to me before, where I beat a fight and then it just suddenly starts going again. Yeah, these zombies aren't too bad. I'm glad that it's not the battalions that we're fighting because I feel like they're a much more difficult enemy somehow. They're like the next worst version, but this place is just full of zombies. Okay, so this is not the right spot. Okay, can I please get out of this hallway? <laughs> Why did I come here? I think it might be better if we just don't duck down any tiny hallways if we see them. I don't know. Because this is like mayhem trying to get out of here now. All I want to do is get my item from this place and leave. Please and thank you. 
Okay. It's enough of that. I guess we do need to do some leveling anyways. And zombies are pretty good for fighting too, despite their disgusting appearance and their weird zombie shimmies that I still get the willies whenever I watch, but that's besides the point. Yeah, one of these days, when we're done with this game, we will be thinking back to these amazing sprites and what we miss, perhaps in other games that aren't so exciting, visually. Because I do have to say, out of a lot of the games I've played from this era, this one is by far one of the best with respect to its detail. Its attention to detail and its style. And even the music's fantastic. Like, the soundtrack to this game, I feel, should be covered by a wicked metal band somewhere. And just to let it rip sort of thing. Because, I don't know, I really enjoy it. That and Miracle Warriors. Okay, that looks like it could be a pit. We're not going to go that way. Who knows? I'm just kind of still afraid of short little hallways, because I know that there are a lot of pits in here in general, so I don't want to run into too many problems. I want to make sure that I can get to where we need to go in one piece. Preferably one piece. And I think the only kinds of enemies in here are undead. Because if we can think back to that guy, he was saying, there's a place in the mountains where the end, where the dead have come back to life, and I think this is where he's talking about, because this is the only type of enemy, I think, that we do fight. Yeah, definitely not the most pleasant types of fights, but I think after this we'll take a little break from Dezorus and head back to, um, Palma for a bit, and maybe we'll go try to fight Medusa now that we have the mirror shield as well. I just wanted to do this place first for fun. What's down here? Um, I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna come back to that other hallway. This is stairs. I feel like I didn't need to go down here before. I think the thing that we need is on this floor. Okay. I think we're getting close to the end because we just reached a dead end, right? So there's not a lot of other places to go. So this must be close to where we need to use that that trap disconnecting or disconnecting, um, disarming. Okay, so I feel like there's not too much more to this place. This is my best guess. There's a- this is the place. Okay, so I think- yeah, because I remember seeing a door at the end of a longer hallway and then falling down trying to go to it. So I think this is the spot. So trap- there we go. Awesome. My, my memory served me well. Meow spotted and disarmed the trap. So usually we'd walk over the space and fall through the floor, but here, thankfully, that won't happen to us. So I forget if we gotta fight a thing. Or not, so let's just heal up a little bit just in case. Especially Noah here. And we're gonna save our game too. Cool, let's bust in here and see what happens. There's a treasure chest. Do you wanna open it? Sure. Uh, <laughs> we got the Laconian armor. That's awesome. And Odin got speared. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we're gonna cure him before we try to head back out of here. And I am going to do that, and I will see you guys when I get back outside. <laughs>